Hello everyone and welcome back to the Beeline Victory Podcast. This is episode 38 and we'll get right into this loss to Notre Dame 24-17. Um, nothing unexpected of course because, you know, Notre Dame came right out and walked all over this defense. Um, obviously, Michigan was just not ready to play. And that's... Well, that's been a common theme. Let's just say that. And it's, yeah, I, I was not going to be surprised if that happened. That was the way they were going to lose. They weren't going to lose late. And they didn't lose late. They lost the game in the first quarter when Brandon Wimbush, who had a worst completion percentage than John O'Corn last year, went down and just shredded their defense. They couldn't. He gave them fits all night, especially running the ball, especially in the first half. Defense was not ready for that, which I just don't get. How how do they not know that this guy, all he can do is run? And he ran all over him in the first half. How do they allow that? How do they allow that? I will not understand. I don't understand. They go into some of these games and they're just not prepared to play the game at all. So the def- they adjusted at halftime and they got their stuff together and the defense played great in the second half. But that didn't matter because they played like crap in the first half and the game was already over because this offense sucks too. We went 8-4 and four last year. What's changed? What has changed from this team? Uh, I, I just don't get it. We went 8-4. and four. The defense is still good. The quarterback play was terrible tonight, just like it was last year. The offensive line was terrible, just like it was last year. The running back, the running game was average, just like it was last year. And the receivers were okay, just like they were last year. What has changed? Nothing. The only thing has changed, we have one more big game on the schedule, and that was tonight. And, of course, they lost it. So they will... Probably go seven and five this year. I definitely predict them to go seven and five. Um, they play Wisconsin, Penn State, Michigan State, and Ohio State. And because Harbaugh loves to lose big games, it is just it's what he teaches, what he preaches to his players, is in his culture as a coach. Um, so they're definitely going seven and five, and that'll be a successful season for him. And then the athletic director will be stupid enough to keep him around for another season. And they're going to keep doing it over and over again. They cannot beat good teams ever. It's embarrassing. The most winning, the winningest program of all time can't beat a good team. And it's been the same thing over and over again for the last four years. And I expect it to happen again. Now I predicted them to go 11-1 and one and make the playoff. Hey, that could happen. I don't know. Could happen. I can't see it in the future. But if I was a betting man, I'd bet them to go 7-5. and five. No doubt. They'll go end up... You know, they'll go again to the Wisconsin game. Oh, they're revamped. Coming in 5-1. and one. Yeah, great. They beat their five cupcake teams. Coming up before Wisconsin. Um, then they'll lay an egg and they'll lose. And they'll go into Penn State. And they'll do the same thing. And... Those two away games, Michigan State and Ohio State, they don't win ranked games on the road. Remember that. They've lost 17 straight. So those are two losses. Two losses. No doubt. You're definitely losing those games. Uh, I'm definitely losing all four of those games. Um, so 7-5 at best. And uh, they'll get into a crappy bowl game, probably lose that one too, because you know, can't win big games. It's not allowed. It's just, it would be a bad thing, really bad thing for the program if they won a big game. I would... It would just be terrible. I'd be at a loss for words if they won a big game. It just doesn't happen. They don't win big games. Um, so I'll continue my campaign. The hashtag Fire Harbaugh campaign. You can find me on Instagram with that. I'll be starting that hashtag as soon as this video is posted. Um, and then I'll be uh, also looking into Brandon Peters, Dylan McCaffrey, and Joe Milton. If Shea Patterson continues to play like dog crap like he did tonight. Um, if you didn't see the game, a quick summary. Notre Dame came on the field and just marched down the field and walked all over the Michigan defense. Two touchdowns. Michigan out of the field goal. And, of course, Notre Dame went right back down and scored another touchdown. Aubrey Thomas, 99-yard kickoff returns. The only reason it was close at halftime. It was 21-10. Half, um, 
Notre Dame put up a field goal, and the Michigan scored with two minutes left. Uh, defense got a stop with all three timeouts. They went down the field, passed the Notre Dame 50-yard line. They're like, just going to score again, but nope. They let you down, just like they do every year, in every game, all the time. Shea Patterson fumbles, and they lose the game. 24-17, to 17, they let Brandon Wimbush, who is, uh, let's just say, terrible, go all over them. They weren't prepared to play, as usual. Jim Harbaugh didn't have him prepared to play. What's new? Nothing. He sucks. He's terrible. It's embarrassing, and he needs to go now. Now. He needs to go. It's the definition of insanity. They're going to let this guy stick around. Keep losing big games for your team. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make it's so frustrating because you know if they had a better coach, they would win more games. And I said going into this game, this is the only game Jim Harbaugh would have the coaching advantage because Brian Kelly on the other side, I don't think very high of. Nope, uh, I've changed my mind on that. Brian Kelly is a far better coach than Jim Harbaugh. He had his team ready to go. They were ready to go. They had a good game plan the whole game. Harbaugh didn't know what to do. No game plan. So, um, if Brian Kelly surpassed him, I put Harbaugh definitely in the bottom, the bottom 40% of coaches in college football. He can't, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it's just, just terrible. Not surprising, but it's terrible. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, thank you for watching. We will see you next week, probably. I'll preview the Western Michigan game. They'll blow them out. Of course, people will say they'll revamp, but nope. They're going 7-5. and five. 100%. It's a lock. They're going 7-5. and five. Um, So, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching.